Hello students, welcome to this class of BA part first. I am Dr. S.S. Vaidwan, Department of English. And today we are going to discuss a beautiful short poem of 12 lines and the title of the poem is Indian Weavers by Sarojini Naidu. As you all know, dear students, Sarojini Naidu was one of the best writers in the country and she presented Indian themes. She comes through a colorful, vibrant personality both in her literary work and her political life. Born of Bengali parents, she spent her childhood in Hyderabad and was thus exposed early to Muslim culture. Later, she went to England for her studies and after returning from England, she married Dr. Naidu and the marriage was of course against uh, the wishes of her parents. Her poetic career began as early as the age of 13. She was 13 when she started writing uh, poetry and if it was of course of imitative style. The early poetry she wrote was of imitative style. She imitated uh, the great works but later on she developed her own style of writing and she turned to the Indian themes on the advice of Mr. Edmund Goss. So from this point onwards a new career, a new writer, a new poet Sroji Naidu emerged. So let us discuss today the poem Indian Weavers by Sarojini Naidu. She is also called the Nightingale of India and she is much concerned with Indian themes. As I told you, she spent her childhood in Hyderabad and she was elected the president of the Indian National Congress in 1925. The poem Indian Viewers is a short poem students it's a short poem of 12 lines only and beautifully composed which presents to us the theme of progress of the day and also progress of the life. The poet Sarojini Naidu in this particular poem Indian viewers she gives us a glimpse of Indian culture and Indian tradition of weaving and also the symbolic meaning of life, how life is celebrated. So let us first read out the poem, Indian weavers. Weavers weaving at break of day, why do you weave a garment so gay? So she poses a question. Why are you weaving a garment so gay, so beautiful? Blue as the wing of a halcon white. And the reply comes, we weave the robes of a newborn child. That is the beginning of life. As you might have noticed, in the very first stanza, all the words, all the lines, they begin with W, W. Let us now take up the next stanza. Weavers weaving at fall of night. Why do you weave a garment so bright? Again a question. Why are you weaving a garment so bright? Like the plumes of a peacock, purple and green. And the reply comes, we weave the marriage veils of a queen. That is the celebration time, the youth, the marriage the ceremony and look at the third stanza, the final stanza, weavers weaving solemn and still, what do you weave in the moonlight, chill, again a question, what are we now weaving in the moonlight, in this chill and chill represents coldness, white as a feather and white as a cloud, the 
color of the cloth is white as a feather and white as a cloud. So, a simile is used. The reply comes, we weave a dead man's funeral shroud. So, the reply comes, now we are weaving a dead man's funeral shroud. So, this poem which starts at the weaving of a garment at the break of day represents birth. Then the ceremony, youth, young age, marriage. And in the final stanza, the journey, it ends up in death. And the reply of the viewers come that now we are weaving a dead man's funeral shroud. So in a very short poem of 12 lines, Sarojini Naidu has presented to us a journey from birth to death, the life. Now let us analyze the poem. The birth garment is blue colored and the poem, as the poem progresses alongside the progress of the day, this early morning heralds the birth of a baby, celebration time, the birth of a baby, a new life, beginning of a new life. The evening is a scene of marriage and the late night is the time of death. This is the passage of life. And as you might have noticed, the, viewer, the poet has used alliteration. Wa, wa, weavers weaving. Then we weave. So we have a lot of examples of alliteration. Sarojini Naidu has composed this poem in tetrameter, that is a line having four feet. As I told you, it is a simple poem of 12 lines and the rhyme scheme is A, A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, F. So again, a very different rhyme scheme. The birth garment, the beginning of the life, the birth garment is blue and the marriage dress is bright and colorful and while the shroud is of white color. The gay cloth, it symbolizes a newborn child, a beautiful beginning of birth. The poet in this poem presents a symbolic journey of man from birth to death by treating the viewers as a creator and destroyer like the Indian trinity of Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh. The poet further says that the process of creation and destruction is continuous. It is always continuous just like the weavers who work the whole day to manufacture a garment. If we further analyze the poem, we feel we, we uh, take a look at the lyrical quality. The lyrical quality is heightened by the restraints of the opening line of the stanza. Weavers weaving. So, this is the lyrical quality. The interrogative form, the second line of each stanza, it poses a question. It asks a question. Like in the first stanza, the question is, why do you weave a garment so gay? In the second stanza, the question is, why do we, why do you weave a garment so bright? And in the final concluding stanza, the question is, what do you weave in the moonlight chill? In this cold moonlight, what are weaving? So, chill here represents death, coldness. So, these questions, they further adds to the fast rhythm of the poem as it follows along. Adjectives like gay and wild, bright, chill, solemn and still help to create a different atmosphere in each stanza. The poem, it begins with a little, rises up to the excited pitch and descends into the slow pace in the final stanza. And slowness is retardness, slowness is stillness of death. 
the editative pattern is also very dominant in this poem as i told you weavers weaving why we weave we weave a dead man's funeral shroud so this wa it is very dominant in the poem each line it begins with a wa sound if we look at the words beginning with wa in the first stanza with pa in the third stanza the line of the second stanza and once again wa in the last stanza the last stanza also has a number of words which have the letter i this repetitive use it creates a flow of sound it presents a musical presentation it provides a music a rhythm to the poem and the poet has succeeded in conveying the meaning the journey from life to death that is the journey of the life in this beautiful short poem of 12 lines dear students i hope you have understood the poem we'll discuss another poem in the next video thank you very much